Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to take a look at a two mile wide asteroid that is headed towards planet Earth. This is its current location right now. If you were able to see it, it would look like the top half of Mount Shasta. You see down here in the lower right hand corner. We're going to take a look at where this asteroid is and when it's supposed to go past planet Earth. I've also got a new sky phenomena picture slideshow I want to share with you guys. And we also don't want to miss the full moon coming up next week it's on monday it will be the biggest and brightest moon of the year and it's happening on march the 9th super moon so don't forget to check that out if conditions are clear in your area if it's clear here i may do a live stream as it comes up over the horizon we'll just have to wait and see but first asteroid 1998 or2 we're here at ktla.com large asteroid set to fly by earth next month nasa reassures it won't hit us on april 29th an asteroid estimated to be between 1.1 and 2.5 miles wide will fly by the earth but it's not expected to collide with our planet thankfully if it did the asteroid is large enough to cause global effects according to nasa back when the asteroid was first discovered and that would have been back in 1998 the asteroid is called 1998 or2 and that's based off of the year it was discovered it will pass within 3.9 million miles of earth moving at 19,000 miles per hour the flyby is expected to occur on wednesday april 29th at 4:56 a.m according to nasa's center for near earth object study the asteroid was classified as a potentially hazardous object because it passes near earth's orbit but it's not currently on a list of potential future impact events good thing because it is very large and what I compared it to earlier was about the top half of Mount Shasta if you could see it that's more than likely what it would look like and if we hop over here to the NASA JPL this is where they catalog all of the near-earth asteroids and, and objects in space that are coming our way and you can see right down here on page 2 there's 1998 OR2 and they've been watching this for a while if we look at the orbital parameters right here, this is its current location. We're also going to look at it on my planetary software as well. But it's behind the Earth, coming up from the backside. It's going to go around the outside of Earth, not in between the Earth and the Sun. But no, it's not going to hit the Earth. I mean, there would have to be uh, incredible change in its orbit in order for it to hit the Earth. There would have to be a lot of things happen that, that normally don't. Yeah, we have surprises, like just like we had the other day with the, the fairly large one that went past the volcano down in Indonesia, Mount Maripai. But this one here, as wide as it is, and considering they've been watching it since 1998, the condition code, which is the degree of certainty, whether they think it's going to impact the planet or not, is zero, zero being the best. Nine is, uh, that number were nine, that is a degree of very high uncertainty. So they're very certain this is not going to hit Earth. And if we look at the orbit parameter, you can see it's going to go well outside the planet. So we're good, no worries as far as this very large asteroid goes though. It's definitely one to, to keep an eye on for sure. And we will, um, it's gonna be like a, a negative, or it's not even in the negative, it's going to be, where are we at? 15.8 magnitude it's going to be very difficult to even see. Even under ideal conditions, you'd have to have a very good telescope that was very accurate, more than likely to be able to find it. Now, the supermoon, we'll all be able to see on Monday of next week. It's called the worm moon, but this one just happens to be a supermoon as well. Conditions permitting, we may do a live stream of the big moon coming up over the horizon. And just for perspective purposes, I wanted to take you guys up here in the solar system on my app to take another look at where this asteroid is. I don't have it plugged in yet, but I will. Um, the asteroid's right over here right now, coming around the right-hand side, looking at the night sky, or actually it's going to be the early morning sky before sunrise. The asteroid is going to be back here. In fact, that's where it's at now. This is where Hubble's at right now, the ISS, all of that stuff is configured into this software application. The asteroid will be back here. If we could see it from the Earth right now, which we can't because it's a like 15.6 
For example, the sun is the brightest object in the solar system, and it is a negative uh, 27 by classification, being the brightest object in the solar system. This is a, a 15.8. It's going to be hard to see. But either way, coming in from this direction here, going very safely past the Earth. And like I said earlier, a lot of things would have to happen before this thing could impact the Earth. If it did, boy, would we know it, being over a mile wide, close to two miles wide. But this is the path it's going to take and should go safely around the planet. And once again, if you had to compare it to something that we could see on planet Earth, more than likely it would be very similar to the top half of Mount Shasta we're looking at right here. Not quite as big as the base because the base of Mount Shasta is about 17 miles across. But right up in here, if you were to take that off and put it into space orbit, that's what the asteroid would more than likely look very very similar to and I put together a new picture slideshow of a few pictures I've gotten to here recently and this first one is quite spectacular this was noticed in the skies of Texas by Sam Walker look at that that looks like a hole punch cloud shaped like a ship unbelievable especially this left side that's a wing over here looks like a wing as well just an incredible photograph we're going to look at that again at the end of this little segment in different filters unbelievable observation by Sam Walker out of Texas here's one here that I've had for a while and it's yet another example of a hole punch cloud that's shaped like some sort of a craft Percy W out of the United Kingdom very profound cloud up in the sky Wiley Texas Hennig K noticed a spectacular sky look at those colors Great observation by Henning out of Texas. Ashley, a huge orange cloud. Glen Allen, Virginia. Teresa T, about as red of a sky as you can get. Great photographs, guys. Keep them coming. Oklahoma, Randy, ominous looking sky there. Those almost look like you could reach up and touch them. BF noticed on his way to work the other day. What looks like a horseshoe vortex up in the sky. Look at that. Don't see these very often. They're, they're kind of rare. Here's a close-up view. Not exactly sure of the location. They, they didn't give me the location. But that's what that looks like. It looks like a horseshoe vortex. But not 100% sure. I can say this. It's very, very unique. Much like this photo here by Jurgen out of the Netherlands. Look at that. Just an incredible cloud structure just towering up into the sky and I wanted to look at this picture one more time by Sam Walker out of Texas as you can clearly see that that's a craft of some sort or at least it looks like a craft going through the sky just incredible or there was one there at one time this thing looks intelligently designed look at those edges angles on both sides the front is contoured looks like it was made for flight you know it's no coincidence that is incredible Another different look here, just a simple sci-fi mode. Nothing uh, too super fancy, but it spoke for itself. Didn't have to do too much to it. That is incredible. Great observation by Sam out of Texas. And real quick, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're a new viewer and click on the bell for notifications. That way you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. If you're a current subscriber, double check your subscribe button and make sure that you're still subscribed and make sure that notifications are still turned on. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery. And sometimes I use the pictures in a slideshow just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.